Hi guys, so today is February 28th and that means it is the end of February, which means it is February favorites time. This is going to be a short video. There are six items I want to talk about and we'll just jump into it without a long introduction or anything like that. The first one is a foundation. It will look dark. I originally got this foundation like last summer or like last spring when my skin was getting darker. I know I look really pale. It is cloudy outside and it's just really messing with the lighting. But if you blend this out, you can make it look really nice. And I wore this for Valentine's Day and we had a few career fair things that I also wore this to this month because this is a great coverage foundation. It is probably medium coverage and you can build it up and I really like it. The only thing I don't like about this is how you have to get it out. It's just a hole which makes it so a lot comes out and you don't need that much. So that is the only complaint I have about this is that it's really hard to get out. Which, But overall obviously it's my favorite so I like it. <laughs> the next thing is the CoverGirl True Conceal Concealer. Um, it is in the lightest shade. I use this underneath my eyes and I really like it. It's pretty creamy and I just really like it underneath my eyes. It, somehow I always get eyeshadow down there and so I always put this on last, one of my last steps just so that whatever, if my eyes like fall out or anything, this can cover it up and it does a fantastic job. Plus the dark circles I have because I'm a college student and I get no sleep. The next two things are blushes. And the first one is the Revlon Cream Blush in Rosy Glow. Just looks like this. I love this color. It's a really pretty pink mauve color with a hint of orange or a coral. I really like it. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. Um, so it just looks like this. It's gorgeous. It's perfect by itself or underneath any blush because it helps it stay on all day and just gives you more of a natural look on it and just blends really nicely into your skin so I really like it. Um, something that I found out was really cool during the month I didn't know um, but this button right here you push it and the mirror comes out. Um, I didn't know what that was for a very long time to be honest with you because I didn't care um, and I accidentally pushed it one day and the mirror came out and I was like that's pretty awesome. So the next blush I'm going to show you is the Maybelline Fit Me blush and it looks like this. It is in deep coral and I really like pairing these two together because they do look similar. This one obviously is more peachy toned and this is more pink toned but together they make a perfect pair and I really like that. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch this one right next to the other one. So this is the deep coral and this is the rosy glow, glow one I showed you before. So I really like this color. I just think these are perfect for the winter time going into spring. So yeah. The next thing I'm going to show you is a Maybelline color tattoo. And this is in Barely Branded. I've been loving putting this under all kinds of eyeshadows because it's just a perfect nude color. It goes with anything and it just makes all your eyeshadows pop because it's more um, my skin toned, I suppose. And so it just kind of looks like my skin tone, but like shimmer, shimmer, I guess. I don't know. It's better for me than a white because it doesn't stand out. You can wear this by yourself and it almost looks like you're not wearing anything except for if they catch a little bit of the shimmer or the sheen. So it just looks like that is gorgeous. And I'll go ahead and watch it right there. So it's just really gorgeous and it goes with anything. It goes with gold. It goes with silvers. So you can really play with this and um, just make sure eyeshadows pop and I really like it. The next thing is a L'Oreal lip product and I don't know what this is called and they don't say the name but I think this is the infallible lip gloss I think or lip stain. I'm not sure but it looks like this um, and all you do is twist it and I got a very neutral color. I got pink resistance. Um, so it's just this really pretty pink color and I'll go ahead and swatch this. So it just looks like this and I've been putting this on pretty much every morning um, while I'm doing my makeup and it just kind of stains your lips. This is almost my lip color but just more <laughs> put together I guess that's the best word. Um, I want to try brighter colors because this does have pretty good pigmentation and so I think the other colors will look really good 
and because this one is just awesome it's not super sticky it's more of a stain um, so it, I always put or a chapstick underneath it just because this can dry your, out your lips a little bit but I really like it and I'm wanting to try other colors but yeah I really like that so those were my February favorites I hope you enjoyed and if you have any favorites you can put them down below or you can do a video response and so I hope you enjoy have a great day and I hope you enjoyed your February and have a great March bye